Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a thank you page in System.io. Now, if you followed me on our last video, we actually went and created a landing page. And this is going to be part two where we can go ahead, create a thank you page, and then you can create your entire opt-in funnel. So the first step, what we want to do is come across to your dashboard, come to funnels and click on the funnel that we've just created, which when the last demo was subscribed to the newsletter now just before we get into it if you haven't yet make sure you hit the thumbs up button so I know you're watching and if you haven't yet hit subscribe I've got loads of great tutorials coming out in the near future so make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay updated so let's go ahead this is our original page that we created on the last video it's very clean it's very sharp but what we want to do now is actually add in a thank you page for example if someone currently goes to this page and they type in their name what they're going to then see is this the standard thank you page where it doesn't really have any information so what we're going to do is create the next step in the funnel which is the thank you page so the first one is done the second one is the thank you page let's click on that first and straight out of the bat you will notice there is quite a few templates inside of here right so if there is something inside of here that you like you're more than welcome to go ahead and use that as a base and then start customizing it and one thing that I see a lot of people doing inside of their thank you pages is they don't keep it congruent. Sometimes system, the templates that they have don't quite align. So let me just show you a quick hack that you can keep your funnel, your entire funnel, the same sort of theme. And that's by going back to the squeeze page, clicking on edit. And what we're actually going to do is create a block so that everything stays nice and congruent. And the way to do that is simply click on the section that we created the last landing page. And then you'll notice this little save button up at the top, right? So make sure you're on the section because we want to keep all the formatting inside of it. And click on the save button and call this your opt-in page. So I'm going to call this newsletter um, landing page. And the reason we're doing this is we're actually going to paste all of the formatting into the next step. So then we can just customize a few different things and it all looks like it's meant to be a part of the same puzzle. So I'm going to go ahead, click on create. We don't want to make this a master block. If you don't know what a master block means, it's essentially if I copy this page to another place, if I edit it on one place, it's going to update it throughout everything, which is great for things like headers, footers, but not so great for landing pages. So don't click master block. So click create. Now this is going to be created in a matter of seconds. Okay, so it's done. Now we're going to save and exit. Okay, now we'll come back to the thank you page and we'll scroll down and choose a template randomly. They don't have a blank template here, so that's fine. We'll just click the first one and delete all the contents. Now the first thing we want to do before we get into it is name our URL. Reason being is it keeps things nice and tidy and if you are sending people onward from the thank you page for example if you had a little uh, bridge video if you had a little bit of training that you wanted to have there's a good chance you want to link this page through email marketing so make sure it's something that you can remember so i'm just going to call it the newsletter thank you right so it's very straightforward um, i'm just going to take off that and actually call this the um, thank you page just so it's my reference and i understand what it's about so click on save okay then click on edit page now here is our page. Once again, I'm actually going to delete this entire block, okay? So it says here, drag in your first element. So what we wanna do is come across to the top here where it says blocks, okay? And then we will see our brand freshly created, brand new, <laughs> what am I saying? Our brand new layout from our landing page and just go ahead and drag that in like so and boom, we have got the exact same page. Now what we wanna do is start customizing it, right? So we've got the right text here. We want to keep the same text between the pages so it looks like it's meant to be. But we don't need a form. So let's go ahead and delete these form fields. And um, what I might actually do is leave this here. It still looks pretty cool. But what I'm going to do instead is say, um, go inside here and say your success. You are now subscribed to the uh, funnel scene and newsletter. And I might actually just change the font size slightly. That looks a little bit better. Change the line height slightly, just so it's not as extreme. I might even 
I think that changes everything, that's fine. Um, and what I'm gonna say here is, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the Funnel Scene um, YouTube channel for more trainings, for more training, tutorials, and bonuses, okay? And then down here, what I'm gonna do, click on the button, I'm going to change it, right? So what I'm gonna do is quickly get my YouTube channel, right? So I've just pulled that up, and what I'm gonna do is actually just grab my URL. Now this is a little pro tip for you YouTubers out there. What you wanna do is type in question mark, sub underscore confirmation equals one, and what this basically means is if every time someone clicks on this link like this, it's going to come up, do you want to hey, subscribe straight off the bat? Sorry about that. So it's a pretty cool little code. So you want to get that. And I'm going to come back to my page. I'll just pull it back up. And instead of having send form, because this is the same button, what I'm going to do is just go open URL, click on a little confirmation -y button there, and we're good to go. And what I'm going to do is just change the colors, just like YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to make it nice and red like that. And I'm just going to change the text. Right, so I'll just say here, subscribe, right on YouTube, and I'll be like, for more training, tutorials, and bonuses. So that looks real fresh, right? There it is, you've now been subscribed. I could even go like, highlight this a little bit. So once again, if you remember where we went through on the last training, highlight the text you want. If it's a heading, you're going to have to change the colors down here. So I'm going to click on that. That doesn't look very bright, so I might just go success. Okay, so that looks pretty slick. Now, I don't have a footer. If you have gone through previous training, you know how to create um, footers as well. So what I'm going to do is just look for my this one. That's my footer. Okay, that looks good. And now we can just adjust things to look good. So if you click on this button, this is what it's going to look like full page now. If you click back. If you click on the mobile, you know, this is what it's going to look on mobile. So everything looks pretty good. Um, I'm not too worried about it. What you could also add inside of here is like social shares, things like that. Now, if you're an affiliate marketer, right, if you are like promoting other products or if you have other products you're trying to sell, instead of just having this simple call to action, maybe what you'd want to do is go ahead and actually create a video and then you'd want to link to somewhere else. So for that example, what I will do is I'll delete this picture of me. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just create a new row at the top. I'm going to drag the text in there. I'm going to drag this little text in there. I'm also going to drag the button there, but I'm also going to drag a video between the button and this. Now it's really big, so I might make the width a little bit smaller. Okay, so I might make it medium, so it's not quite as big, even slightly smaller maybe. Maybe, so you never really know until you click on the side. So I think I'll go medium. And then what you wanna do is just come inside here and start customizing it. If you're an affiliate marketer, if you're any type of salesman, make sure you create videos. People love videos and they just upsell so much better. So what I would do is come in here, shoot a video, upload it to either YouTube or System or wherever and then um, have it there and just lead people basically to pressing the button, so give them a reason to. So inside this text, I'm just gonna give it a bit of padding at the bottom, about so. Um, what I might even do for this example is just backspace that, so success is enough, and then I'll change it here to um, watch, oh, if you want to learn my, um, my best kept secret for getting more traffic and sales into my business, watch this video below. Now you can't see anything, just because I backspaced everything, it's made it black, so I'm just gonna change it to white, like so, fix up the errors, um, like so, and then make it just slightly bigger. Okay, so that's that's literally how I would do it. Now. Um, yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good. Could even just bold it, something like that. And then that's how it would work. I might even give it some padding at the bottom, right? So I might make that into like 80. Now, always, 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 you wanna check what it looks like on phone. So it looks very narrow inside of here. So I'm gonna increase the size on mobile, like something like 24 looks pretty good. I wanna give it a gap at the bottom. 
so maybe 20 yep that looks good and I also want some padding at the bottom here so what I'm going to do is click on the section and I'm going to say bottom maybe 35 maybe 135 let's see how much it's given me about 135 I'm pretty happy with that so that looks good on mobile and desktop and that's it you could even say something like you're now in okay and then the last thing we want to do is come to settings okay come inside here and um, just change the title so I'm going to call this the success you're in okay so I'm going to go ahead click on save right I'm going to have a look what it looks like by pressing preview okay so I'll just close this that's fine so that looks good the button of course if you were to link it somewhere so for example if it was going to a YouTube channel you can leave it there if you're going to a different product put in the different product there or a different page or wherever wherever you're uh, sending people it could be TikTok it could be to your website it could be to one of your products you're selling whatever it might be just change the text and come down by changing the subtext as well down here so change all that um, add in your video but that is literally how I would create it so let's go ahead and test the entire process that's all done I'm gonna click on exit so let's come back to step one okay and I'm gonna preview it or we'll just watch it so name I'm just gonna put Phil hello at funnelscene.com okay click on subscribe to newsletter okay and boom redirected to the thank you page that's how simple it is guys don't overcomplicate it super easy to do and that's how you do it now i'll also link down below to a different training on how you can create email campaigns so if you then want to send automated sequences to people simply follow this training it's really easy to do and then you'll be good to go okay so that's it guys hope you enjoyed it if you got value make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you haven't yet hit subscribe loads of great training in the near future if you're new to system and you want some help make sure you check out www.funnelscene.com i've got an entire course that teaches you everything about system plus you get bonus funnels plus you get affiliate training as well as other training like creating courses so much value go ahead and check it out that's it from me guys i'll see you on the next video